Well, hello, wherever you are. My name is Steve. I am the pastor of a community, the Sandbanks Meeting House uh, up in Prince Edward County, Ontario. Today, we're just going to have a, a simple prayerful meditation on your image of God. We're going to invite God's Spirit to come and be with you. And in that space, we're going to meditate on a passage of Scripture uh, found in the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 16, verse 13 to 15. And uh, in that meditation, we are just going to rest on the image that you have for God in your mind. This is an image that has been developed throughout your life, throughout your experiences, maybe your church history, uh, your parents, the ideas that you have about who God is. All these ideas about who God is affect the way that we interact with God. Um, God created us and uh, created us to live in relationship with Him. But uh, how we view God could affect that relationship. Maybe, um, you know, the idea of God as a father is a barrier to you personally uh, trying to connect with God. So helping, uh, it's helpful to recognize that Jesus is a person that you can find, uh, where you can find God uh, and find out more about who he is. There are tons of images uh, for God throughout Scripture. If you are having issues connecting with God or um, building a relationship with God and you would like to develop or understand more about God's character, maybe through some of these other images or names for God throughout Scripture, I'd be happy to talk to you. You can email steve.kerr at themeetinghouse.com and we can start that conversation or you can comment on this video down below. But today, we're going to start with the image of God that you have. And uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to open up in prayer. We're going to invite the Holy Spirit to come and be with you in this space so that's safe. Then I'm going to read uh, a passage of Scripture once we've slowed down and allowed the Spirit to enter in with us. We're going to leave us some space to just be as we listen to God and see, is there something you're trying to say to us in this space through this passage of Scripture? And after that, I'm going to read again. And as I do, I'm going to encourage you just to rest and be with God, however uh, God is communicated to you through this time, however the Spirit of God has spoken to you in this space. So uh, first, I'm going to invite you to get comfortable. Uh, maybe if you're seated, make sure both feet are firmly on the ground. Uh, put your hands down on your uh, laps. I prefer when I'm doing this and I'm meditating to keep my hands uh, up and open on my lap as a, as a reminder to me physically in my body that I'm open in this period for God to speak. And so my hands are open so that God can put anything in them, but also so that I can let go of anything that maybe I'm holding on to that I should be letting go of. So let's uh, enter in and pray together as you get comfortable. I encourage you to close your eyes if that's helpful. Let's take a couple deep breaths just to slow down and be present in this space, wherever you are. Holy Spirit, we invite you to come into this space and be with us. I invite you to reveal yourself to each one so that they can be aware of you with them. Help us, God, to release those things that might prevent us from being with you. Anything that we're holding on to, any ideas or any worries, concerns later on in the day, let us give those over to you. And God, we hold our bodies here in this open posture, ready to listen today. Help us prepare our hearts to listen to you. Just take a deep breath in and out. I'm going to read this passage, and then we're going to have a minute just to reflect on it. As I read this first time, just listen 
Listen and see if the Spirit prompts you to notice a single word or phrase as we read. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he said to his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you? He asked. Who do you say I am? Just sit with whatever God has shown you and rest. See if it connects to any piece of your life. Is there anything that you hear God saying through these words? Now, what did God reveal to you? Is there something about the name you have for God that is helpful or that hinders your connection with God? Luke 19.10 says, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Jesus came in pursuit. The Holy Spirit continues that pursuit of each person. The Holy Spirit is pursuing you right now. We read this passage of Matthew 16, 13 to 15 again. And as I do, I invite you just to rest. Rest with this idea of God that pursues you. Rest with this image that God is giving you today. Rest with whatever God is giving you. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciple, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But what about you, he asked? Who do you say I am? Let's just rest 30 seconds. Holy Spirit, we give thanks to you for coming and being with us today. We pray that you would go with us now as we prepare to leave this space. Continually remind us of how you've come in pursuit of us to seek us and to save us. Remind us that you won't give up. Help us to seek your face. Do not hide yourself from us. Pray all this in your 
Son, Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you have any questions about this prayerful meditation, about who God is, or how you can develop a relationship with Jesus, I'd be happy to talk. You can comment on this video below or email steve.kerr at themeetinghouse.com. Well, until next time, I bless you.